All right, so I have so much to tell you. First off, you're going to hear me slur. You're going to hear me mumble. I'm not drunk. Here's what happened to me a few months ago. I'm on stage. As I'm talking, the whole right side of my face starts to become paralyzed. And like any dude, I figure I'll do my show. I'm going to go to Arby's, and then I'm going to see how I feel after that. Okay? So I go to Arby's, and the whole time I'm at Arby's, this face, my right side, just starts getting just, just lower and lower and like this, right? So I take a picture of my face, and then I send it to my brother, who's a heart surgeon, and I go, is this a stroke? Right? And then I eat some curly fries. And then... All of a sudden, I get a text thing back from him where you ever just have somebody text you back and this, the text bubble is just lasting longer than you would like it to and it just keeps going. So I'm sitting there eating my regular roast beef, waiting for him to respond, right? And then all of a sudden, it disappears. And I'm like, okay, what happened to him? Did he just have, did he fall? What happened to him now? Then all I got back from him was an emoji thumbs up. <laughs> I'm like, okay, what took you? So were you trying to find the right skin color for the <laughs> thumbs up? <laughs> then the text bubble comes back and he's typing more. So I'm like, oh my God. Then all of a sudden an ambulance, a guy running, and then a headstone. <laughs> So now I'm trying to read it like it's a cave painting. Cause I'm like, I don't understand the running guy. Like that guy, I get it. I should run to an ambulance or shouldn't I run to a hospital? I have so many questions about this. But then I'm like, you're a doctor. How is a headstone in your current emojis? Like that seems like something you would have to scroll. It shouldn't be something you used on a daily basis, right? <laughs> so then, like any guy, now I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a little bit afraid, I'm gonna be honest with you, of going to an emergency room, but not because of what happens at the emergency room. I, have, I don't even know if I have health insurance. I don't even know if I'm covered anymore, <laughs> right? And then I'm worried, probably my crappy health insurance, it probably covers parking. <laughs> right? I'm like, maybe I'll just wish this away. But by this point, I couldn't even feel my face and it's everything drooped, right? So I go to the ambulance, it's Christmas Eve. Uh, you know, I get to the, the uh, hospital and I'm laying in a little, the bed thing and they, they, they do all these tests and it wasn't a stroke. It was this thing called Bell's palsy. Where it's basically the nerve on the right side of your face just goes, I'm out, I'm done. <laughs> Right? So you, your face starts to twitch, and then your brain is like, this is weird. The right side isn't booting up. Let, let, me call, let me call customer support of the nervous system and just see. So then your brain calls customer support, and then the nervous system's like, okay, what's going on? Uh, well, the left side's working, but the right side is just totally nothing. It's not, the eye's not even blinking. I got nothing. Nothing's coming out of the right side. And then customer support's like, okay, here's what we want to do. Um, you're going to have to just unplug the entire thing for 30 seconds. <laughs> and then your brain's like, you want me to unplug the entire face? Yeah, just, just unplug it for 30 seconds. And then just tell me what's going on. Okay. All right, so what's going on? Uh, the, the, left the left eye is, is blinking, but the, the right eye is still nothing. Yeah, uh, can I put you on hold so I can get a supervisor, right? <laughs> and then I asked, right, I asked the doctor, I'm like, okay, so the thing, he's like, yeah, you lost a nerve on the right side of your face, uh, nothing works. And I go, well, do you have anything to give me to make it, you know, work again? And then the, the doctor, literally, he goes like this, he goes, <laughs> <laughs> He literally, just instead of giving me something you learned in medical school. Okay, those of you who have teenagers know, if, if you tell your teenager to do something, they respond as if you tasered them, right? So, it's literally like I asked this doctor when he was 16, is your homework done? <laughs> uh -huh. 
<laughs> hey, can you throw this away from me before you... <laughs> My whole day's ruined. <laughs> so then I go... Okay, okay, is there medicine? He goes, well, there's like a steroid, but we can give you, but it's basically, you know how in Halloween you get those Smarties? It's basically all it is. It's just <laughs> sugar pill. It really does nothing, but you feel better because you're taking something. So then I go, okay, well, how long am I going to be without a right side of my face? Because I would like, you know, all of it to just be kind of working. And again, he goes, well, <laughs> he goes, it could never come back. And then he paused, he goes, it could take five months, could be a couple weeks, some people, 40% chance of he... And then I'm sitting there going, you're gonna lead with never? <laughs> Just as a comic, I know to rewrite stuff, I wouldn't lead with never. <laughs> and then he goes, but it's stress related. So, okay, well, you know what? You've stressed me out enough. The left side is now twitching, <laughs> so... You keep talking, everything will even out eventually because we'll, we'll just drop the left side and then everything's symmetrical again. I'm like, you have nothing. You've told me I can't get better and you have no medicine for me. If I would have went to anybody who sells essential oils, They would have had more of a cure for me than what I'm hearing right now. They would have pulled out their book of spells. Oh, you got the Bell's palsy curse. Hold on. And then uh, it's viral, so you need some thieves, and then some oregano, and some peppermint, and then we'll just defuse your whole face, and you should be fine, right? But then it was weird, before I went into the, the uh, you know, getting all the CAT scans or whatever it's called, they go, we need an emergency number for you before you kind of go on. And that was a weird question for me because it was also right when, right smack dab when my divorce was going on. Right when everybody was fighting over money was the, huh, I wonder why my face imploded. Anyway, so right, so. <laughs> mm. Correlation? I don't know. Anyway, uh, right? They go, we need a number for you to write for like emergency contact. And it was the first time that question, I didn't have the go-to number as my emergency contact. I'm like, well, um, I'm not giving you my brother's number because he's just going to text you a dumb emoji. <laughs> You're going to end up getting two hands up in the field goal position. Check his eggplant, laughing emoji. <laughs> right? So then they go, well, we need somebody. We can't just put you in without a number. I'm like, I don't know. Is there another doctor who lives in this area? <laughs> Maybe somebody who could use their words more than you? <laughs> right? So then... Here's my big, here's my life lesson out of this, right? Here's my life lesson, because that was just life. Okay, it was right when my divorce was going on, and I know everybody in this room, you have something going on in your life that is horrible, and you wish it wasn't going on, and if it wasn't, you think your life would be 100% perfect. Well, here's the deal. You're strong enough to handle whatever it is you got going on in your life, and the fact that you were even able to come here tonight shows me your bottom isn't even that deep, be right? <laughs> Even if you think your life sucks, oh man, my life sucks, just, you know what, accept it. It's, it's your reality changes, you, you know, sometimes there's thunderstorms, deal with it, because don't challenge life, because there was like a week or two where I was, boo-hoo, I'm getting a divorce, my life sucks, my life can't get any worse than it is now. Then life went, whoa, 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 whoa. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, did you just say something? I was... I feel challenged. Do you, do you think I cannot? Do you think I cannot make it worse for you? Is that what you just said? All right, how about this? Mouth, how about this? How about right after you've been married for 17 years, right when you're single, I drop the right side of your face? How about that?
How about I melt the entire right side of your face like you had a real tough hot yoga class? How about that? <laughs> I want to see you change your online dating profile picture. I want to see if you're man enough to put what you really look like today. <laughs> I want to see you change your intro sentence. Hey, looking for a female into the Phantom of the Opera guy, hit me up. <laughs> Then I got to order that mask from Amazon. Music of the night. Looking for a girl with a ski mask fetish, DM me. Who's in the goalies? Hit me up.